now you have surely heard of the horrible war that's going on in the Middle East. The war that began when Hamas, a savage, barbaric terrorist organization, attacked Israel completely unprovoked and for no reason. They came into Israel and they murdered over 1,300 innocent people. Here's a couple of things that I hear from people around the world. There seems to be some confusion. I thought I'd clear it up for you. First of all, they want a state. Give them a state, do they? Because in 1948, when Israel was established, you might not know, but the United Nations gave the Arabs a state too. It was called the Partition Plan. Israel accepted, the Arabs rejected. Why did they reject it? Because they don't want a state. How do I know? I don't know, why don't you look at their charter? Go look at the charter of the PLO, of the Hamas. What do they want? They want dead Jews. They say it clearly. They had a state. But you know what? Forget 1948, 2005. The disengagement, you might have heard of it. Israel left Gaza. Israel evacuated 10,000 of its civilians and handed Gaza to the Palestinians on a silver platter. Here, make a state is what we told them. You know what they did? They elected Hamas and they created a terror base. So first of all, let's stop with the fake narrative of they want a state. They don't want a state. If they say it clearly, it's time we listen to them. The next thing I'm hearing is, how could you cut the electricity to Gaza? How could you cut the water? Really? You think a country should provide electricity and water to an enemy state? But furthermore, we have video evidence of the Palestinians, Hamas, using the water pipes to attack us. They're literally using the water pipes to create rockets to shoot into Israel. And we should provide them with water? Have you lost your mind? Also, where are they gonna go? Poor Palestinians, they're not all guilty, they're not all Hamas, of course they're not. You know where they could go? To Egypt. Go look at a map. They have a border with Egypt. Why is no one asking Egypt, their Muslim brothers, to open the border for the Palestinians? You know why? Because Egypt doesn't want them. Is that my problem? That's not my problem. I don't need to take in two million Palestinians who are attacking me and who voted, who voted for Hamas. Not all Palestinians are terrorists, but the Palestinian people, the ones that everyone says deserves a state, they're a people, right? If they're a people, then they should be held accountable for their words and for their actions. They voted for Hamas, they need to pay the price. Disproportionate response is another thing. Israel needs to react and retaliate proportionally. Really? What's proportionally? Because let me tell you what Hamas did. They came into Israel, they murdered, raped, abducted over a thousand people, elderly, children, pregnant women, Holocaust survivors. Yeah, that's what they did. So proportionate response? Are you suggesting that Israel should do the same to them? I surely hope not, because that would be highly immoral. So enough with the disproportionate response. Furthermore, let me ask you a question. The Palestinian people, are they a people? Or are they a group of punks? Because if they're a people, like you say they are, who deserve a state, well, if they deserve a state, they should be held accountable. And if they are declaring from the river to the sea, and they want no Israel, Israel wiped off the map, then maybe we should listen to them because they're a people. Besides, these innocent Palestinians that everyone keeps talking about, the ones that danced and sang on 9-11, who hand out candies on the streets every time an innocent Jew is killed, where are they now, these innocent Palestinians? Because I can tell you that my social media feeds are full of Muslims supporting Hamas. Have you seen thousands of Palestinians standing up and speaking out against Hamas? Because I haven't. And then they're gonna say, but they can't. Hamas will kill them. They just have to fulfill orders. Where have I heard that before? Oh yeah, it was the Nazis who said that. It was not a legitimate response then, and it's not a legitimate response now. Stand up. The way Hamas is brutalizing and terrorizing the Jews and the Arabs in Gaza, they need to stand up, and there's no excuse that they don't. This is Israel's 9-11. No one, no one in their right mind debated whether America had a right to retaliate after 9-11. But forget 9-11, what about World War II? Did anybody question whether the world was justified in attacking Germany? But weren't there millions of innocent Germans who were killed? Yeah, they were, and guess what? It's called war, and in every war in the history of mankind, innocent people die. It's tragic, but it's the nature of war. Israel doesn't want war. It was forced upon us. So just like World War II was justified, just like America's war in Afghanistan was justified after 9-11, this war is justified. No one, no one is gonna tell Israel to hold our fire, to stop and to react and respond and retaliate proportionally. That's a ridiculous claim and it needs to stop. At the end of the day, we need to have integrity. We need to read their charters. They say it loud and clear. They don't want a state, they want dead Jews. This is not Arabs against Jews, Muslims against Jews, Israelis against Palestinians. 
This is good versus evil. This is a, an army that does everything to minimize civilian deaths versus a terrorist organization who does everything to maximize civilian deaths. Period. Full stop. If that is something that you cannot digest and speak out and say loudly and proudly, then I got news for you. You should start looking and searching for your moral compass.